What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a normal Legacy Cube draft. This should be the last one before we do Vintage Cube drafts, so be sure to check those out and uh, follow or subscribe on, on YouTube. We're also doing BLM Charity Stream for Black Lives Matter. Definitely, if you guys want to contribute, if you guys want to if you guys want to support the cause, uh, you can do so by clicking the link down below in the YouTube description uh, or on my Twitch profile page. If you guys are watching on Twitch, you can definitely use Command Charity, and there's a link to donate there. Please click on that. We're almost at our goal of 1,300 bones. And uh, hopefully we can... I, I'm just hoping we can get there before the end of the stream. That would be sweet. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel in a different way, which is absolutely free, I think we take control magic here. Uh, you can you can download the the Vikings game that I was that I was sponsored to play last Friday. Play through the tutorial, and I get credit for that. And I'm trying to hit my goal. The goal is 95. I'm at about 40 right now, and I have until Friday. So if you guys want to help me out, it would really really mean a ton. It is absolutely free. It takes about five minutes of your time, and uh, you can find the link for that as well down in the description or on my Twitch profile page. So definitely check both of those out. So. Tooth and Nail, Nicobolus, Urza. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want Tooth and Nail. I don't know if there's enough artifacts, to be honest with you. Without Signets, I feel like Urza's just not as good in this cube. There's like no signets and no power. So like the number of artifacts in this cube is actually not a ton. <sighs> this is actually tricky. I'm going to take Compulsive, and I'm going to assume Nicobolus comes back. Oh, God. Draw a Tree Speaker. I'm having regrets already. Animate Dead could be decent. We have we have Compulsive already to discard. I think Animate Dead has much higher upside than Serum Visions. Plus, we're hoping for that Nicobolus table. Let's take Sheldock Isle. Time Warp? All right. I'm liking all our picks so far. Also, we could have got Oracle here. Our green deck could have been good. There is no Stip currently. Uh, Languish is decent. Looter is good. Looter lets us discard for Animate Dead. Yeah, let's take Looter. Mm, Riftwing Cloudscape. All right. And we have no we have no commitment to black just yet. I think Pluto Delta is good. Deceiver Exarch also pretty good. I'm going to take Delta. This Nicol Bolas came back. Let's take this one and hope the other one comes back too. That would be pretty sick. Oh man, come on, Nicol Bolas. Come on, Nicol Bolas. Two Nicol Bolases. Two Nicol Bolases. Also, if you guys are looking for ways to play Modern Pioneer Standard on Magic Online, a great subscription service is the one I use, and they sponsor the stream. Manatraders.com. Definitely check them out at Manatraders.com. You can use promo code RATTRAIN and the link down below to get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. And uh, that's another way to, to help out the stream. So, I hope my internet's not dying right now. Well, we're not dropping frames or anything, and we're still live, so as long as you guys are still seeing this thing. Chicken in the corn. Is 
Magic Online crashing, guys? Are you still there? Are you there? Can somebody say... Okay, so we're still there, I guess. Everyone in the draft is connected. This is, uh... Oh! The Nickel Bolas came back! Oh yeah, we're playing Nickel Bolas Tribal here, boys. Uh, Murmur Mystic actually seems fine. This is a solid 10 cards. Shieldred? It's actually pretty good with an anime dead, right? That's wild. I do like a mere battle sphere. I don't think we're an Emery deck. I don't think we're gonna use Prowler deck. Treasure map is great. I actually enjoy a treasure map, especially when you have double nickel bolus in your deck. That have very specific mana requirements. Where is Dawn? There are one here. I think one's chewing on the bone. Chicken in the cone. Cryptic command. Oh, how blue are we going to be? I think the answer is very blue. I like this better than most of their cards here. I do like Masquerade. I don't really like Liliana that much. I haven't played with Cryptic Command once in this Legacy Cube, I don't think, so I'm just gonna... We're just gonna do it. Yes, it's true. I could change the command to Bolus Stip. Oh, Blood Crypt seems great here. I'm all about a Blood Crypt... If Extinction Event or Magma Jet come back, or even City, I'll, I'll take it. Also, we can get a Blood Crypt with the Polluted Delta, so. Pack's not super exciting. I like Choops here. Choops is actually pretty good. Chart, of course, is all right. I think we're taking Choops, though. Chicken in the cone. Uh, Fire Prophecy is actually not terrible. I think it's just Sower here. There's so much removal, though. I feel like Sower is actually better in the Vintage Cube because people are just playing less removal. I think I actually just want Fire Prophecy. I just want a way to deal with things early. Well, there's no fixing, so it might just be Inferno Titan here. Tamiya is also pretty decent. I'm going to take Tamiya to minimize our red. Oh, Volcanic Island is a nice gem. That's a, that's a real good pickup.
Man, whenever no one says anything in the chat for like three minutes, I get real freaked out. I'm like, am I still alive? Man of War. I'm a simple man. I like a man. Actually, I like necromancy better than Man of War. F in the chat is right. <laughs> Pay those respects. Fatal Push? Fatal Push seems good. So does Golos. I think we're taking Fatal Push. Um, I actually like Stone Cold Serpent a bunch. It's however big you want it to be. I'm drafting! Are you in this queue with me? I doubt it. Hello, drafting. Well, extinction came back. Entomb is interesting when we have necromancy and animate dead. Let's take an entomb. You know what? I'll take Obosh again. Crypt. Eh, I'm going to take Carnage Tyrant. The less Carnage Tyrants I have to face. Wow, that was a late. That was a late impulse. That's a really nice present. All we need is Underground Sea. Bloodstained Mire is pretty good. Dragon Lord Silumgar is pretty good. Hmm. I think it's Bloodstained Mire. I really want an Underground Sea. Or even a Watery Grave, but... Oh, so salty. We actually just did... We just did the accent stipulation last draft. Yeah, I think it's Bloodstained. We have enough big things. I'm not too concerned with that. I think it's Dark Slick. Actually, it might be Glenelendra. I like Glen a lot. And Dark Slick's kind of trash. Whereas Glenelendra's just like... Very, very good. Heroes Downfall is great. I'm going to take that. Yes, it will definitely be uploaded to the YouTubes. Mike brought out his sleep accent. He did in the, in the very last round. He just couldn't even keep his eyes open. There's that watery grave. Also, Niv Mizzet Forbid and Gristle Brand. I'll just take the watery grave. Our deck is looking good so far. We have a lot of good top end. Also, one of the great things about Necromancy and Animate Dead is they can hit your opponent's creatures. Both of them can, so. Man, what's with these picks where, like, you get to the end and you're like, all right, well, I guess we're just stuck here now. Metamorph seems great. I'll Metamorph. You have Metamorph control magic and two reanimates. We're taking all the creatures. Got a little Watson down here. Hey, little bud. Want to come in this chair? Come here. No? Okay. Oh, Steam Vents is beautiful. That is a nice little treat. Oko. 
wow, I wish I had something to splash that. I'm going to take this mana leak, though. Wandering Fumeral. This is enough red... This is enough red and blue lands for sure. We just take care of our murderous cut. Actually, we don't have a ton of room. Yeah. We're literally just splashing for like Nicol Bolas, Nicol Bolas, and Fire Prophecy. I think we'll just take murderous cut. Okay, Dragon Lord Solengar comes back. Sure. Dark Slick Shores comes back. Let's see if that Black Cleave Cliffs comes back. So we got Blood Crypt, Watery Grave, and Steam Vents. We got all three Shocklands. We only got Volcanic Island, though. Yep, Black Leaf came back. That is a late Euro. Yeah, and our mana base just keeps getting better. Is Watson the angry one? Yeah, Watson's known as Little Anger. He's the ferocious one. He's got a good heart. He just gets really aggressive sometimes. Wow, niv Mizzet and Gristlebrand come back? Holy shit, that's insane. I mean, I guess we'll take Big Grizz. What the f- That's insane. Like, we can also just discard it to, like, Compulsive or Looter. That's insane, dude. Okay. Chicken and the corn, and the corn and the bum dadded. We're definitely cutting gristle brand. Watson, where'd you go? Watson! Watson! I don't trust him when he's not in here. Come here, what are you doing? Let me see your beard. I'm always like, what are you doing? You getting into something you're not supposed to get into? <sighs> Two cuts. I like Fire Prophecy because it's early. We also have enough red fixing where it shouldn't be. Uh... I think we probably cut Stone Coil Serpent. And probably like Shieldred here. Actually, Mirror Battles might be better to cut. I think Shieldred's a little stronger. No, the rest of the reanimate's fine. We didn't even need Gristlebrand. Like, I think reanimating this, this, or any of their creatures is just fine. Like, you also want to just be able to, like, Heroes Downfall, Chupacabra, Murderous, cut their guys, and then just reanimate them, so. We also have Entomb and Gristlebrand. Jeez. This mana base is looking spicy. We're just going to play one. Yeah, that sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven red sources. Blue, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Black, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's ten, nine, seven. That seems really good. I like a treasure map, actually. I only have two reanimate spells, so I'm not like super high on like having to reanimate something. Oh my god, you guys with the Vikings. So salty. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, my dude. Thank you for the support, dude. 38. Almost hit 40. Also, I have a goal at 60 and a goal at night at the 95 that's listed, so. If we can just hit 60, even that's good for me, so. I like Fire Prophecy because there are a lot of cheap early creatures and it is kind of filtering if we have like extra lands in hand or something, so. You have better removal, he says. It took me like two minutes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, guys, it's super easy. Like, I, I don't know how to emphasize it, but playing through the, the tutorial just so I can get credit is super easy and it's a, it's a great way to support the channel. Helps me out a ton. 
The link is right there in the chat. It's on my Twitch profile. It's down below in the YouTube description. So you can find it pretty much anywhere. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're just gonna suspend this and next turn we can play uh, Mana Leak and Fatal Push. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Fingers crossed, I guess. Yeah, and like I said with Raid, like Mike actually loved it. Mike is still playing Raid to this day, so. The odds you just enjoy the game is not zero. So salty. Have a good have a good morning, buddy. Enjoy work, my dude. So I think we're just killing this guy. I mean, the damage part doesn't seem super relevant, but the fact that like he can pump could be relevant at some point. Mm. This card's actually surprisingly good against us. I mean, not if we have Fatal Push, but once that becomes a 4-4, it's uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I don't think I have any ways to get things out of the graveyard, so I can pretty much free to murderous cut something if it happens. Oh, standard beat. I just got your dad came back comment. Like, I read it and I was like, dad came back? What does that mean? It was a gristle, gristle dad reference. Not spells, no. Only creatures. Alright, we're just gonna bounce this guy. This is where they sneak in a container priest. I don't know what's going on. Like, this is really slow. Alright, just bounce this guy, I guess. Tamio. Bloodstained Fire. That's close. Was not that close. Well, we're just going to pass here. I'm going to have to go to B dubs and get me some of them riff wings for lunch. Wow. Wow. Yep, you got it. I would try to go to Wingstop. I think the B dub I think the Rift Wings at, at B dub at uh Wingstop are a little bit better. What is this? Falcon Wrath Fire Drinker Seder deck with Explore and Elves of Deep Shadow. Let's get a watery grave. That doesn't do much here. Probably just going to hold back here. I have no incentive to deal them two when we're at nine. B 
BTW? What is BTW? Oh, that's rough. That is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Oh, BWW. The old Buffalo Wild Wings. I think I'm just taking two here. I feel like it doesn't feel great. Come on, something good. Yeah, Galone just cute. One, two, three. Actually, we can play everything, right? We can just go. Not the worst. All right, decent. Oh, now they have five mana. Yikes. Glory bringer. Glory bringer. That's a yikes for me, dog. Oh, you're not exalt. Oh. Okay. Well, we're definitely blocking here then if you're not exerting. That's pretty wild. Wingstop fries are always really good for me. Let's attack Gary. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's time warp choose ourselves this time. Gonna murder us, cut this guy, and see what we draw, I guess. Uh, get rid of Meyer, and Fatal Push. Something good. Not very good. Ninth land. Tenth if you include the fetch land. There's seven lands in our deck. Yeah, Wingstop Fries are great. Their ranch is also friggin' banging. I'm just taking one here. Assume you don't have Fallen Shinobi. Like Metamorphose Fallen Shinobi. Hex Drinker. Oh, Jesus. Not again. Oh, that's brutal. Well, we're just hoping to draw Nicol Bolas in the next two cards. And the good Nicobolus. Dear God. Next one card, actually. Next two cards wouldn't do it. One time. Volcanic Island. Well, that was fun. <laughs> so now they just get to actually kill us with this guy next turn. Phyrexian Metamorph would not do it. Actually, this is... Well, no. Control Magic would have done it. Okay. Extinction event actually seems decent. They have a bunch of one drops. Oh my god, the ranch is so good, dude. You guys are out of control.
Ok. When you stop as trash tier compared to BWW? False. Absolutely false. What up, Unforgiven? Oh my god. What even is this deck, dude? Cryptic command. Wow, I would have definitely put that back instead. Triple blue spell, huh? Seems good. Embereth shield breaker, just as a dude. Yep, this is pretty amazing. Yeah. I actually thought this deck was real sweet. <laughs> Aside from the wasteland, how are we doing? I mean, this is game two, and game one went pretty similarly, so. Let me guess, Garrick Relentless. If we hit a land, actually, Extinction Event's pretty good. <laughs> oh, God. I am dead inside. I, mean, I guess they could play a four drop. After cracking a land. This is alright, because the two tokens, we get to kill them, so... I would say that Sadness Resolves, correct. Correct. Come on, land! One... Friggin' time, thank Jesus. Oh, God. Are we still in it? I don't know. Oh, dog cam's on point right now. It's you two boys. Oh, you kept my blue tapped. Good on you. <laughs> oh, I'm having a good time. Tokens count as uh, even because they are zero.
Olive Garden is actually the worst trash I've ever... Yeah, Olive Garden is garbage. More like Garbage Garden. What turned this at eight and I've missed four land drops? I guess three land drops, technically. No, probably four, right? Because it's going to be my turn nine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot they kept doing that. Well, hopefully this will cheer you up a bit. <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I mean, they just gotta go attack with Smuggler's Copter, tap down a land, attack with Smuggler's Copter, Lightning Helix us, and we're dead, so. And the odds of them not having a creature with one power is pretty low. <sighs> Yeah, I also don't hate Chili's, to be quite honest with you. I think Chili's is probably a little bit higher tier when it comes to the, the chain restaurants. Yep, alright, we're just done here. I, I, I have no idea how I lost this fucking garbage fire of a deck with, like, Avacyn's Pilgrim and, like, Falconrath Gorger, like, Fire Drinker Seder randomly. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I got mana screwed. In the first game, I flooded it. I had, like, 11 lands out of 17. In the second game, I couldn't draw five land drops that's right i remember now i remember All right, let's give it a go. Um, let's put a control magic under there. Being able to steal a dude at instant speed seems pretty decent. And this looks like we're going to have to impulse for a uh, for a land here. giving me mana we're, we're two out of three cryptic command blues i got the cryptic command blues croissants are bomb especially are we going to talk about having one land in that shell dog peak no just accept it Don't call it bug in the chat. Come on. Show some respect. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, well. Okay. I'll take a Black Cleave Cliffs because if they have... I guess we are taking a land here, guys. Uh, if they have... Um, the thing, what's it called? Sundering Titan. Then we can actually... Uh, we can dodge those. Look, we don't have a single basic land right now. God, you guys saying it's earwig in the chat, and I'm like, where? Blue? Um... You know what? I think it's worth actually taking two here just to keep up Cryptic Command. If they go land five drop Planeswalker or something, I'm just like... I don't think the two damage is going to make or break us. Mama gets Panera for lunch a lot when I visit and she always gets the chocolate croissants. There's... So my problem with Panera, I think the food is fine, but like it's just way expensive. Okay, well, this is not the best, but we can kill it, so that's kind of cool. I wish I didn't have an emblem because now I have a little bit more pressure going on, but I wish Necromancy could return a Planeswalker. I have lots of wishes. I have like two reanimate spells, two removal spells in my hand, and like none of them are going to do me any good, so. I agree. That's why I let my mom buy it. Hey, you want to buy me lunch? Okay, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Anything for my little Jimmy? My name's Brandon. Oh, okay, sweetie. Bouncing the emblem with Cryptic Command actually seems pretty legit. Uh, let's get rid of Anime Dead. See, that's what you get. That's actually pretty decent, right? M -m -m My tomato. <laughs> My mom still thinks I'm Jimulum. I haven't had a heart to tell the truth. Oh, little Jimulum, would you like to get some, some, some Panera? You can get a, uh, I'm trying to think of a Panera sandwich. The Smokehouse Turkey? Is that a thing? Oh, no, probably. Wow, they're just drawing all the cards here. It won't save you. Yes. <laughs> a grilled cheese. All right, well, I'm just gonna not auto yield to this because maybe something happens at the very last minute. I'm tapping this, it gives us one more mana next turn, but it keeps them off of counter spells this turn. Glenny, oh, little Glenny. They could also just play Inferno Titan, but we have a ton of removal, so we could just Murderous Cut and then Necromancy it. That seems good. Would you, you'd love to see it, wouldn't you? Boom, 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 boom. Why is the normal clientele of Panera like 75% single mothers with their kids? It's funny, because my mom, whenever we'd go to lunch, she'd be like, you want to go to Panera? And I'd be like, okay. It's kind of hilarious, actually, because that's true. That's what literally happens every time. She would always be like, let's go to Panera. And I'm like, that's fine. We can go to Panera. Something's happening. Three mana. 
pyroclasm. So where they enter the royal Tamiya with Glenn on the stack? Oh, it is. Fact or fiction? Oh, there's the Into the Royal. Um, let's go Brainstorm Search. No, Brainstorm Royal. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, so you took Brainstorm and Royal. Brainstorm kind of sucks anyway, so I don't even care about that. Let's pop these graveyards out for easy, easy visibility. Forgot about this emblem for a second. For a hot minute. Well, we're one man away from a shieldred here. We're also not too far off from a from a Tamiyo emblem. Let's go to Panera. I'll get you a baguette as a treat. It's a fort of middle class. Doesn't break the bank, but feels better meal for the kids. I agree with that. That actually makes... That checks out. Panera's also like the king of fast casual. I, think, I feel like it was one of the first like fast casual restaurants that wasn't like... It wasn't like fast food, but it wasn't like a sit-down restaurant either. Like a complete sit-down restaurant, you know? The best part about brainstorm is that you're just gonna draw the card that you that you put back. One, two, three, four. Panera has decent soup. I don't ever. I don't even want to. I don't ever want to be a restaurant known for okay soups. You ever been there? They have okay soups. Big potato soup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I refuse to believe that with all the people in here, we can't hit this $200 remaining goal for BLM. Come on, you guys are out of control. There's only 200 of you in here. If anyone, if everyone you donated $1, we'd hit it. Again, you won't. But if you did. Oh, Badger, I didn't even know you are still here, buddy. Good to see you, man. Good to hear from me again. I don't think you've said anything for this entire draft. Let's crack this and kill this arcane artisan. Do I want a second red? Do I want a second red? A second... Yeah, this seems... Volcanic Island seems good here. My girlfriend wants to... Okay. Oh, Jesus. What is... Why? Why is this a conversation we're talking about? Oh, good Lord. I think I donated wrong? Um... 
one and one, huh? Savage Gopher, I didn't see. Wait, someone donated a hundred. Badger with another hundred. Come on, Badger it doesn't count if you do all of it, buddy. I appreciate you, dude. You are awesome. Um, Savage Gopher, I didn't see any donation from you, so I don't know where it would have went, my dude. One, two, three, one, two. Voodoo Squid, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Oh, okay, now see now we're now we're now I feel like we're on we're on uh on track. Uh, one, two, three. Necromancy. Let's get our Glenn back. I'm bringing Glenny back. So next turn we could uh ultimate tamio if nothing happens and then keep up infinite cryptic commands forever sorry about that our laxity i forgive you due to all the all the recipes you've provided the least i can do is is let it slide i got a receipt shrug goes to the same place either way really interesting oh did you not it might mm, interesting Okay, that is a thing. But that's okay. Jabba, thank you so much for the five bucks, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. That is awesome. Oh, you're gonna oh you're gonna tap down this. I understand. I feel it in my soul. I mean I really feel like Tamio Ultimate here is just kind of what you want to do with your life. Um, one, two. Yeah, I don't see how we lose if we Tammy ultimate. Like, if this goes to the graveyard, we get it back. Like, murderous cut. I want to keep up two for this. So actually, one, two for treasure map. One, two for this. Yeah, all right, we can't do everything. One, two... Oh, wait. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, dang it. Well, that's unfortunate. It's still dead, I guess. What's happening? King Lumigu, thank you so much for the bones, man. Oh, I can't do much. Dude, it doesn't... No, that's totally... Dude, every little bit helps, man. Yes. Use that ability. So we know they have Into the Royal. So now we both have emblems. So that's kind of cool. Aurora Spada, thank you so much for the 20 bones. Voodoo Squid with the 5. Thank you, guys. You guys are amazing. 60 bones till we hit our goal. I, I, I think we could do it. I believe in you guys. I think I just gifted a sub, but I don't know what, what the hell I'm clicking. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are really... uh. You guys are really Twitch experts here. Twitch spurts, if you will. I'm actually grateful for lands at this point. It's kind of nice. Thank you. Oh, there's Rise Against. Get the gifted sub, man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you, my, my man. Hey, my man. Twitch spurts? That's right. Those are Twitch experts. Twitch spurts. Please don't say Twitch spurts. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are getting real touchy. One, two, three, four. You guys are really getting you're getting touchy with the twitch spurts. One, two, three. We're wait, one, two, three, one, two. We can double cryptic command. I've never heard of such a thing. Banned. <laughs> oh lord. 
You guys, we have a good time. I mean, come on. We know what's happening here. Okay. I want this to happen first so I don't accidentally return it to my hand. Okay, this is for the necromancy, so yeah, let's return necromancy. This I'm just going to say no to because I don't want some shenanigans. Voodoo Squid, five Twitch spurts. Oh man, I love you guys. I'm gonna get the Inferno Titan, or the Frost Titan, is that okay? Oh, we're just gonna win the game. Our deck is sweet when it, when it works, and when our opponent's not holding us down. You guys are amazing. Oh yeah, this seems. M White just donated ten bones. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate. It. Maybe call phone isn't the way to do. It. Call phone, cell phone. I don't think there should be an issue with with uh with with being cell. Cellulares. Cellulares telephonos. Okay, there's a lot of red sources. I mean, we're gonna get a watery grave here, but. Nonetheless, we need three black and we only have one black right now, so I don't approve. Okay. Let me see those islands. I think it's Charas. Charas in charge. Sweltering Suns. Cycle that dude. Yes, the first link is the main site. The second link is the donate link. Correct. That is correct. Rise against the orcs that the the bits the bits worked for sure, my dude. Charles in charge. Uh, the problem with this is I don't have anything to uh, to kill it. So like if they have frost titan next turn, it's just really bad for us. Oh, Savage Gopher. Savage Gopher, dude. It, I mean, like, you're still donating to the same cause, so I'm not... I don't think it's worth sweating. Oh my god, I love you guys. Ari Laxative Spaghetti with Skittles. <laughs> Ari Laxative, do you reduce the Skittles in a pan first to get all the, to get all the delicious syrup out? I'm really I'm I think I'm I'm becoming more curious of your techniques than the actual ingredients, you know. Is it a nice skill reduction? Oh man. Oh man, Rise Against is the bit leader and the sub leader. God, what a maniac. It's funny cuz your name is the band Rise Against. And then you just added the orcs at the end. You're like, rise against. Well, you know, the orcs. You know. What's the donate link? It's under charity? 
And it's the second link there. Frank BLM. And I see, I want Charles in charge of me. Oh my god, he still has the Charles in charge song stuck in his hand. Absolutely wild. Our hand is good. We just need two more black sources. What just happened with them biddies? Savage Gopher with the bits. Thank you so much, dude. Oh god, is it tied now? Oh, I think in the, in the case of a tie, the person who did it first stays the first. Oh my god. God, this card is really obnoxious. Mm, boy. So I made a point to troll the orcs relentlessly and prove they were useless and not helpful at all. When was this? I kind of just want to bounce this, but like I really don't want to. Like I'm just hoping. Because oh, we, we have to draw a black source and a hero's downfall. I would have countered. That's a solid strategy. Like, we just can't even beat this, you know? Oh yeah, people have definitely people have definitely tried to counter. I I mean against me when I play Chandra, uh, they've definitely tried to counter it before, and I'm just like, mm, it's not gonna work the way you think it works. Zazilla, thank you so much, man. Fifty bones. Oh man, and we broke the record. Well, the the goal, not the record, I guess. You guys are amazing. Yeah, she starts at six. And then you immediately get an emblem that's going to pressure you for the rest of the game. Sometimes you get two. Like, they could literally give me another emblem and I can attack it with Stone Cold Serpent and it would go to five. Okay. Which I think would have been correct, to be honest. Because then they give me a third emblem and then she goes to one when I attack again. So it's like... I just actually don't have a way to keep up with that. Charles in charge of me. Let's keep that guy. I mean, if we can get a Nicol Bolas, can we kill the Chandra? I don't think so, because he starts... Oh, we... no, a negative three does that, yes. We just need another black source. Yeah, my deck is just not equipped to deal with three emblems, and I don't even think it's... I, I don't even think it's equipped to deal with two, to be honest with you. Oh shit, what's happening? I think we're just conceding here. This seems bad. Yep, that'll do, pig. Alright. Well, didn't know that was a thing. Oh boy. I don't think Mystic or Extinction Event or Mannequin or P and Karen are very good. I don't think Obosh is good. And those are really our only options. That card is pure troll. It's not like, how many emblems do I have? Oh, they're all in their own little pile. So that's cool. Hold on, 
Let me run to the bathroom real quick while we're waiting. All right. Keep. Hmm. So no red and an eight drop. Let's go Nicol Bolas. God, I like all those cards, though. And the hero's downfall being under there makes it pretty rough to deal with Chandra. Also, the Nicol Bolas under here. <laughs> those are like my two Planeswalker answers. So I guess we just hope you don't get Chandra. Trying to explain the stream memes to the new girlfriend makes me sound like a lunatic. Yes, I would imagine that's correct. That sounds extremely accurate. They're very... Uh, it's like the epitome of inside jokes, you know? And they're all pretty obscure, even even as, as far as inside jokes go. Come on, Rat Train! You don't know Rat Train? Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> oh, he doesn't really live in a garbage can. You know, it's just a thing we say on the stream. You get it, right? He also lives in a tree and under the sea. <laughs> Look, I really don't see what's so complicated about this. I think you people are all crazy. It's definitely awkward how, how much I have the Charles in Charge song stuck in my head. Adam, show her that clip. Why do you keep calling me girlfriend, Mike? <laughs> See, that's funny. See, I would have much rather have the big nickel bolus under the shell lock so I can play the little nickel bolus next turn. As if that would work. Well, there are a lot of things happening here. That is not going to be one of them. She's in chat right now. What up, girlfriend Mike? they have counter spells. I didn't see that many counter spells from them, so. Alright, we're all done with these these junior mints, my dudes. Charles in charge. It's gotta it's gotta get out of my head. It has to leave. So we're both going to have six cards and six lands. 
Girlfriend Mike is not wife Mike, as wife Mike is Bortina. <laughs> Discarded a mana war. <laughs> that sentence, pure gold. <laughs> I got a second read. T -t -t tomato is this a pester mite? I got a, I got a, oh, it is a pester mite. Hey, pester mite. What's their? Oh, they're gonna untap their red. Wait, but my Tamio hasn't resolved yet. Oh. Okay. Let's see if we made a big mistake by not uh, killing this when we had the chance. Like Charles Xavier and Magneto. I'm probably just going to kill it anyway. Oh, what up, girlfriend Mike? <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Let's see what this does. I'm probably just going to put mountain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, we just keep everything. Our hand is good, right? Ah, uh, no, we can get a land. And the next two cards will for sure get a land. And if Thank we don't, you. that's time. It's totally fine. Oh, Badger with the gifted stuff. <laughs> it's, it's gold. It's pure gold. Frosty. Frosty in the snowman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, they always tap my shell dock. That's okay, I'll tap their frosty. Two. Yeah, I'll pay two. For sure. And now we got Cryptic Command. I love it here already. It's a good it's a good place to be. A say S Popple. Kurt what's up trying to figure out a feeler from Canada. Unbelievable. Yeah, I don't care about that. If you want to deal two to Tamio, that's fine. What's happening right now? I don't think I care about this either. Not with Nicobolus in hand, anyway. Now we want to hit a land, though. Tap one of these down. I 
mean, I'm pretty sure we actually just windmill slam this Nicol Bolas, right? Like, they have three cards. We're stealing Frost Titan. Oh, God. They have, like... There's, like, so many free counters they could have. They didn't have them. Oh no! Oh, the mana. Or right, kill this. Alright, so we lose Tamio. That sucks. Kerwit, have a nice bedtime, buddy. Yeah, that's ugh, fuck. It's it's funny because I accounted for it here. I was like, okay, we pay two to get this guy, and then two to kill this, and then we'd still have four for cryptic command. But then as soon as I play this, I forget about the the two tax, the two frost titan tax. Are they going to Chandra deal two to Nicobolus? Because boy, this turns the game around. Hour of Devastation. Wow. That's f comically not terrible. You know, I will pay two. That was nice because Nicol Bolas does not uh, fall prey to his own his own devices. So you're like, you know what? I can't explain these. Just why don't you just get on Twitch instead? Chandra, finally Chandra. Okay. Well, if she kills Nicol Bolas, then we get to kill her. So it's kind of just like one for one. Yep, one for one it is. Oh, I should have played this Nickel Bolas first so that I could actually uh, give them an emblem. <laughs> Plus two and give it an emblem. Give them an emblem. But I think we're still fine without that. I think Nickel Bolas is still strong enough on his own. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. I guess we shouldn't have cracked first. Necromancy. And Frost Titans in the graveyard again? Wasn't well, that just wild? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. Might as well just... I mean, we have a very slow clock here, but... They only have one card in hand, and they're at three minutes, so... Feeling okay about this game. Our hand is kind of stacked. Good games. 
Say hi to that one guy. Will do. Will do. The one without a door. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Yeah, Bolus is his own clock. Two turns, and that guy's living the high life. I'll be back in the high life again. I am getting a headache. I'm glad this is the last round. So we need a red, but we also want a second black and a second blue. Actually, we have treasure map, which is pretty good, so. Boy, oh boy. Bobby Butters. Uh slid down the butter chute. <laughs> oh, I like the old land tax into always play more land than me. <laughs> tell them, Michael. Tell them about Big Butter. Big Butter buttered my biscuits and I was at the butter factory and then they I slid all the way out because it was lit down the butter sheet. It's not supposed to make sense, just so. Just so you guys know. Um. Pfft. I mean, we're definitely going to play something next turn, right? We want double black. It's either Blood Crypt or Steam Vents. Or it could just be... Let's just get Water Grave. I don't care about the red right now because we have Fire... Fire Prophecy is less important than all our double... <laughs> nice. Nice. Don't mana tithe me, bro. They did not. Big Butter buttered my biscuits at the Butter Factory and then I... Butter my biscuits. Butter them. Huh. Let's play Looty Tootie. Keep up Treasure Map Arena. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I can't believe I spelled it that way. <laughs> I feel like the Australian public education system let you down, buddy. As my conscience, I'll keep that. To be. Uh, we're, now we can discard island if we really want to. It's 
Someone from America dissing another country's... Hey, listen. We just having a little goof. I'm just going to play this. Uh, you know what? Sometimes you just got to play into their stupid land tax. I mean, that's not to say you're not 100% correct, 100 correct, you know. I did done mess up AA, Ron. You done messed up AA, Ron! It's correct. A Big Mac sauce gun? Oh, that sounds delicious. Two cards. Enchantments dot deck over here, huh? Also known as a mayo geyser. Oh god, it's 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 especially when it's so warm. Um we're gonna crank this guy instead. Flip this bad boy. You know what? I'll keep a mana leak. Going down the butter chute. Maybe we can play Nickel Bullets next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. No creatures in the yards. Mayo geysers are essential for proper meatball sub maintenance. Oh, good gravy. Good meatball gravy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight mana. I don't know how comfortable I am playing into this one volcanic island, to be honest with you. I feel like it's a good dog cam moment. Look at those two. Perfect gentlemen. Good mayo. Am I just searching out lands and discarding them? Days? You could have got me. Oh man, that's wild. Looking for a land here. All right, we're going to get rid of Fatal Push for that land. This way we can still keep up Mana Leak if they have something, or we can draw a card if they don't. Yeah, you're going to smell bad. Or you're going to smell delicious. Didn't think about that one, did you, smart guy? It's like you've never been sprayed with the Big Mac, Big Mac sauce gun.
Oh, I'm gonna no sir that guy. Animate dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I still think that's worse than anything else in my hand. Imagine going to suck a mayo geyser and you get a mouthful of Big Mac sauce. That was the life of the early pioneers in America. A hard life, but one that made it better for the rest. <laughs> Gosh, I can't even imagine those days, man. They had it so rough, dude. That's sad. Maybe I should have taken out their green source. You'd be dead. <laughs> and now we have to think about all the miners for Subway. It's true. Having to dig for oven roast chicken. God, there's no end in sight, you know. I mean, there's also six damage on board. Like, and we can just... Sneak out a a massacre worm at any time. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we'll get rid of this because even if we like, we're, I'm sure we're gonna draw another land. So one, two. Funny thing is, I knew we were going to hit Cryptic Command. That's fine. I think we can keep one turn up. One turn up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can play a land here, keep up Cryptic Command. That seems fine. What up, Shove Jr.? The sub mines aren't for the faint of heart or feeble of mind. We live by the sub and die by the sub. It's not much, but it's honest work. Down here, salt is a way of life. So whatever's happening right now, I assume it's a Hydroid Crassus. <laughs> a card I can't keep? Oh no, we're not doing that. No, no, we don't need we don't need that fancy bullshit. Is that better than just putting Glenn on the board? Probably. Or we can put Glenn and protect it later, which I kind of like. Uh, 
You know what? I'm good. We got time. Why are there so many gym? Why are there so many gym clips? <whistles> this guy's pretty good when you have infinite lands in your hand. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. What up, Dr. F Meat? Mike V does say Jimmy a lot when he's babbling. Oh, Jimmy. They discarded two spells when you have land tax? How do you not have like infinite lands in hand? I mean... If that's not the point of this, I don't know what is. One, two, three, four. Oh, you actually, I can't use any. Oh, we need all colored mana because this is five. This would be six. This would be seven. So the treasure cove actually messes the mana up for us here. Hmm. So we have a couple options. We can metamorph this, just have a bunch of different things. I kind of like Metamorph. One, one, two, three, four. I don't like we don't even need to take the damage here. I think we should have done this first, though, because if they have a removal spell, then we just don't get to copy anything. So, in the future, I probably would have played Metamorph first. Because then if they have removal for our Archmage, we can at least still copy their their Bizarre Trade. Trade Mage. Trade Master? Trade Mage? Is it a wizard? Interesting. That Cornulus clip? Hold on. We're listening. Cracked a corn Jimmy cracked a Cornulus. <laughs> I don't care even if he was Bornulus on Tuesday. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you say that again for me? Nope. Jimmy <laughs> cracked a cornulus. And I don't <laughs> care. Because he was bornulus on Even if he was bornulus on Tuesday. Yeah, that's what I said. Wild. What's a cornulus? <laughs> What's a bornulus? Oh my god. Michael B is really something. He's really just. Terminate? What? I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Are these just like, you know, gotta try efforts, you know? One, two, three, four, five. Brolis himself, draw a card. 
Da, 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 da. I'm loving it. This match is taking forever. Jimmy cracked a cornulus, even though he was born yulus on Tuesday. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can hit anything fancy with this. That's fancy. I mean, I can't imagine what they could have to get around Glenelg or Archmage. Or two Glenelg or Archmages, for that matter. But. Who knows? I think we're, I think we're won. Man, that's a lot of man. That's a lot of different lands, my dude. I think we're f I think we're fine. I think our deck is fine. It's Scrobers all the way down. You ain't kidding. Yeah, we can keep this. <laughs> I also have no idea what a Cornulus is, and I've been here for a long time, so... Fascinating. Do, 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 do. We did see days, but they could have played days then too, so. I guess they would have had to bounce Water Grave, and now they don't. Man, am I walking into a daze here? Wow. I mean, we knew it, so. Got no one to blame, but also this card's not super exciting against us, so. Actually, I probably should have compulsive there, maybe? card's kind of annoying. Uh, 
So this gives us double black, double red, and triple blue, which is just perfect. What does Thank Mike be? Thank you so much, Mike B. You don't get enough credit after a tough few years my wife getting sick, my this dog going blind, having diabetes and cancer. Really bad time to be my dog. And me now in the hospital with blood clots. I turn on Frank and see they're behind him. I say to myself, well, it could be worse. I could be Mike B. Wow. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a got him from space, man. Jesus, God. Jeez. Thank you. It's a nuclear got him. Husker, thank you so much for the sub. Oh. Spencer with the gifted subs, man. Thank, thank you, dude. You. Really appreciate it, my dude. Is it player cast? Uh, you may play that card. Okay, so you can hit lands off of Outpost Siege. Spencer, man. You are awesome, buddy. I miss you, my dude. Um, what you got here? Turn six. Did we miss land drop? No, we're on the draw, so I'm gonna counter this and probably bounce your outpost siege. So you gotta waste another turn playing that stupid thing. Spencer, never forget. Lucky, 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 lucky. Anomic84 is actually the person who came up with that clip. We were literally playing Magic in our in our downstairs area in Seattle. And Spencer was just sitting there with my guitar watching a match. And uh, when, like, I think I said, wow, how lucky. Like, Spencer came up with this little jingle and, like, he was just like, lucky, 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 lucky. And I was like, okay, that's fucking hilarious. And it was very funny. Oh, I want the land, but I also... One, two, three, four. One. I think we're getting rid of two cards. We're getting rid of Fatal Push and Necromancy. Like, we want to hit lands for Nicol Bolas, you know what I mean? You were... Yeah, you were narrating the match and you were my bard. That's true. His opponents drew a magical spell. It was the best top deck in the land. God, they're always playing so many lands with land tax. It's wild. Really? You played your land and then played that, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Lucky, 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 lucky. And I guess we're just going to keep swinging with Choops. Choops my goops. <laughs> Correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're one away from this guy. And we haven't, we've, days is already gone. <sighs> this guy sucks. I kind of want to steal it, though. I'm going to steal it. Don't do anything to my goops, buddy. Your goops are in danger. Oh. Fascinating. Oh, this is interesting. So if we draw a land, we're just going to steal Talrand. Okay, well. <sighs> Lucky. But then they can play Massacre on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But then they can't do anything else. And then we can just steal Massacre on 2, so... I'm actually not going to attack because if they attack with this, I uh, just want to jump with troops. It's, it's 
pretty good. That's really good. Wow. Wait, did we, did we? Did we delete Ari, Ari Laxative's uh, Mana Lake message? Because that was kind of funny. What was wrong with that? Was there something else? Yep, that's pretty bad. Oh, it wasn't meant to be late. Okay, I was like, what? That was not, that wasn't that offensive at all. All right, Nicholas Burles. If that is your real name. Oh, boy. I was considering timing out for a terrible joke. Okay, <laughs> Badger... I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. I feel like you are the last person to be timing people out for terrible jokes. <laughs> Got old RPG dad dadger over here. <laughs> dadger, yes. I'm, I'm glad you appreciate that so much. Oh man, that's good times. What, you get rid of my land here? Dirty. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Yep, you got it. Let me get one, one. It's a pity I have no children, yet I am old. Man, when they cast Nicobolus to kill our Nicobolus, that was wild. Adam, I will check it. I, I see that it's there. I'll, I will check it soon. I will check it soon, my friend. Girlfriend Mike, have a good night. I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, absolute ridiculousness that exists. All right. Well, all three are coming at Brolis here. Oh, God. Oh, I'm just I'm making messes here. Yeah, that was no, no bueno. Can I steal that? Is that a thing? I don't actually know. Every meatball I dig up and serve are my children and I'm proud of them. Holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> yes, excellent. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Got this guy on top. Yep, just keep killing my... Keep killing my landy boys. Let's go to the next game. I feel like that Nicol Bolas on Nicol Bolas hate crime was a little too much to handle. <sighs> Alright, well. I feel like Battlesphere could be good, but it could also be a real bad boy. That's not a ton of grease. And by that, I just mean like they have um, Ascarum, so it's like, God, I really want to board that in. Oh, 
I've never seen a toxic Twitch chat. I dude, surprisingly, my my chat is so fucking excellent, dude. You know what? I'll keep this. No. I was also thinking of bringing a gristle brand. Um, I didn't know what to cut though, and also it's like eight mana. Which these games go long, but I'm deeply offended by this assertion. How dare you? Uh, how dare you be? Aff uh, oh god, hiccup. Most toxic chats have been in an official Watsy stream. Yeah, that's because like I think Magic has a lot of edge lords in it. Oh man, when did our goal raise to eighteen hundred? Better keep going, I guess. Better keep on rolling, 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 rolling. So I'm pretty sure we get a black and a blue source here. We don't need double red for anything. So we can probably get... Oh, we can't get any... We don't have underground, see? That's sad. Michael B, it'll burn your throat. Yep. These are expensive cards. I was like, what, are they just born into a blue-black deck? But alas, Oblivion Stone. Fascinating. Never fails. Every time you crack this, you get a land afterwards. If you don't crack it, you don't get a land. It's very interesting. That's why, like, superstitiously, I always end up cracking it if I need land. Because for some reason, you're more likely to find a land if you crack it. I'm pretty sure we're losing because, again, we couldn't hit a fourth land to play our spell, but... What can you do? See, now that we searched, we'll probably hit a land here. We hit a metamorph. <laughs> oh, boy. Good times. Missing two land drops. Yep. I knew it was too good to be true, so... Like, how long do I play this out? If there's no land here, we're scooping on the spot. <laughs> Fuck, what an asshole. <laughs> what an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna deny you your, your impulse because I want to win the game without you being able to interact with me. Okay, dude. You got it. <sighs> good times how about now cool let's see if you got that daze nah no daze not bad I think most magic, I mean, if, if that's true, I think most magic streamers don't have toxic streams because I think they try to put the kibosh on that. But also I think League of Legends streams are a lot bigger than magic streams, so ultimately it's actually a lot harder to control, I think. Because sometimes you'll watch like a League of Legends stream or like a, 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 a like some kind of like Overwatch, or like a, just whatever a popular stream is, and the chat's just like... And I'm like, how do you even keep track of that? How do you even like interact with that in any meaningful way? Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. 
Well, they only have one black, so I'm not super worried about Massacre Arm here. Oh, Horizon Canopy. Yeah, Spencer, that makes sense too. It's uh, Magic is a lot more slow paced as well. So like, there's a lot more time to process plays and like... As a League player, I take offense to that. I mean, League of Legends players are also the worst. Mike plays some League. Put a fake counter on your land tax. I mean, I'm surprised we're still alive. We have two Glenelinger Archmages that actually do some work here in terms of damage. Figure of Destiny? Well, a little shit. Uh, no blocks. So I think we can kill this with Fire Prophecy, right? They have one to make it a 2-2, two -two, and then they only have two more. So we can Fire Prophecy this guy. Um, what are we getting rid of? I think our hand is actually stacked. I'm just going to say no. Yep, that's pretty insane. They also have four minutes to our six minutes. Oh, Scarab God. That dude's getting countered. That dude's going straight in the goddamn trash can. Oh, they're not going to play it? What? All right, Laxiv, that's probably correct, my dude. Oh, they are going to play it. They're not going to... I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that guy's got to go. Yeah, I'm in a position where I just want to draw the card, to be honest. I don't care about their stupid outpost siege. Oh, reanimate? Oh, we can animate dead that dude. I mean, we don't have to do it right now, but... Wow, I was going to concede this game and I actually feel like we're doing quite, quite well. It's 
So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We can animate dead the Scarab God and then bring back, like, I guess only figure of destiny. Yeah, but then, like, they have no incentive not to pop Oblivion Stone at that point. Whereas, like, we have a decent clock here. Force of Negation? Sure. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, okay, so we have to stack... What is this they're doing? They're doing something else? Okay. Wait, why are they stacked this way? I didn't... This isn't how I wanted them to be stacked. They died at the same time. Now I'm only going to get one? <gasps> Katie, my dear, how are you? Just kidding. I know how you are. I've been moving chatting. Why did they stack them like this? I didn't choose this, right? Because now the Metamorph comes into play first, there's no target. And that, that's so bad. That literally just denied me two power. I have no idea why I did that. Of course I'd want this one to resolve first, then the other one comes into play and targets it. What the... What, that's so frustrating. Why that nervous react? <laughs> What's happening right now? <clears throat> How are we still in this game? Like, really, really... Yep, don't care about that. It's Frank's keeping us hostage. I'm blinking to say let me out. I don't believe it. Um... Interesting. I feel like they're going to wipe the board here. So I just want it in the graveyard so that we can get it back with a shoulder if they if they try that shenanigans. I think they're going to I think they're going to turn us here. Wrath of God. If Metamorph copies Scarab God and it dies, does it go back to my hand? Can anyone answer that really quickly? Oh, no, because it exiles it, right? It's a copy of it. Yeah, it's not the actual metamorph. So, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, God, it goes back to their hand, though? Oh, that's pretty bad. Okay, well, now we're talking. You just play this and hope it, like, gets there? I don't know if this is correct. Like, they have Scarab God. They can go Scarab God, metam get our Metamorph, copy Shield, and that's pretty fucking bad. Like, they have to hit a land... I have six cards in hand. Jeez, it's so bad. Oh, they're just doing something completely different. Nickel Bolas? Sure. That's really not good. One, two, three, four, five.
Nope, need another black for this guy. I mean, they have two minutes to win this game, so... Mm, voice of Resurgence. They do have nine mana. <laughs> what? Why do you get this back? That's just wild, man. Sure. Come on, land. We can do it. Yes. And... Got him. I mean, they could definitely metamorph and make a copy. There's a lot happening right now. Yep, that's what I figured you'd do. I feel like the best cards in my opponent's deck are my cards. <laughs> so that's the thing. My night at work is nervous face. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that's every night on overnights. This overnights has been miserable. They also have to win in a minute and 12 seconds. And they do have to sacrifice a thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can't cast Approach. Oh, they played a land. They can cast it. I don't think that's going to matter. Like, I don't think they can get through their deck. Actually, maybe they can with Outpost. So, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Sun. It's the last card on their deck, but I still want to kind of... Sacrifice a creature... And get a... Oh, I guess I can't get the same one back. I'm going to actually get rid of this. And... Dragon, Dragon Lord Silungar this Shieldred. They have not used Terminus yet, so let's see if they hit it right now. Terminus right now. Okay, no Terminus. They might just have it in their hand, too. Oh, we have Glenelinger Archmage. Yep, you got it. 32 seconds. I feel like we're winning this game, guys. Uh, I could be wrong, but... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll sack... Glenn. Uh, gain control of Scarab God. <laughs> I don't even know if they... I think we're just passing here. Uh, and whatever they target with... Sh oh, there's pros... Hey! 2-1! Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You guys are amazing. Check out manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com, and uh, you can also definitely download Vikings at the link in the description down below. It's a great way to support the channel for free. Like they said in chat, it's two to five minutes. It's super quick, and uh, it definitely, there's super sweet incentives for me if I hit my goal. So thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for all the BLM donations. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys next time.